and tell you a little more about our company. So PopAd started when I reposted my wife's Instagram on my Facebook wall. And a friend asked me, where did, I, where did I get those shoes? It had the effect of a shoe ad on him. So I posted the link to these Cole Haan shoes, and I had him and two other people purchase these shoes for a total of about $700 worth of merchandise. Now, the great thing that we thought was like, you know, why couldn't we get some recognition or attribution for this well-generated ad, and maybe even get compensated for it? Well, the idea is that the problem with advertising is advertising. It's interruptive, uh, it is, uh, interrupts our experience, and uh, is something that I'd rather avoid than enjoy. Because it follows the old model of broadcast where advertisers go out and they talk at the consumer. But we already know that there's a new system emerging where the brand must have a conversation with the consumer, and that conversation needs to be relevant. So that's where PopAd comes in. PopAd is a marketplace for user-generated advertising. We allow users to sell their social media content as advertisements, and advertisers can purchase them either individually or programmatically. So our vision for PopAd is simply to make advertising disappear. And what I mean by that is I want it to be completely seamless with our experience. So how do we do it? So we primarily source our images through an iOS app, and then we curate the best performing images, and then we use data to distribute the images to, to the right people. So in our iOS app, what we do is we create photo bounties. And photo bounties, they mimic existing behavior, like taking pictures of your shoes. And then what we do is when you submit pieces of content to our iOS app, that uh, you can win points, you can win prizes, and you can even win cash. But it simply isn't just about money or prizes. The idea is that you get to engage in some friendly competition with your friends to make the best advertisement. And eventually somebody becomes a winner, and hopefully it's you. Now why would anybody really want to participate in the system? Well the thing is, is the more you engage in a conversation with a brand, the more type of credibility you get, and eventually you advance through our system. So we've lightly gamified our system to <coughs> mimic a creative agency. So you start off as an intern art director, and as you engage in that conversation, you eventually rise up, and hopefully as a creative director, you now get to help participate in that brand as they ideate their new campaign. The great thing is that we enable brands to keep up with their consumers. So our target, I, we think this really resonates with our target users, which is the art student for their creative breadth, and then also for in Instagrammers because of their sheer engagement and creativity. And we have about 1.5 million addressable Instagrammers that we can go after, go after immediately. So going back to bounties a little bit, one of the cool things that we have is they're all geolocated. And what we hope to do is that those geolocated bounties will help drive an even more relevant conversation with your consumers. And the biggest thing, the end state, is that we want to be that creative counterpart to what we know is the future of advertising, which is real-time bidding and programmatic. So our customers naturally are going to be big fat cats in money, but, but actually what they are going to be are going to be brands. But we also see a very large opportunity with local, which is about a $130 billion advertising ecosystem that hasn't been cracked yet. And then also we think that stock photography can stand to be more relevant. Now where we're at right now. So we are currently at the Brandery, which is a top seed accelerator in Cincinnati. And then we have two brand pilots. They may be a shoe company and a deodorant company. Uh, we also have 22 local businesses signed up just to really test the market. And then finally, we have two pending platform integrations to make our content easily available for advertisers. And why are there a bunch of twos up there? Because this company is built on serendipity. <laughs> now, the biggest thing we have going for us is a really awesome team. So uh, we have two technical co-founders who can build anything from hovercrafts to RESTful APIs, manage uh, development teams at Draft FCB, and also help to build products for Fortune 500 companies and Mobiquity. Our community manager has more Instagram followers than most brands, and I, as a former Army Ranger who went into the uh, private sector, really enjoy making, making good products. So, uh, but let's be clear here that, um, uh, let's be very clear, none of us ever thought we would be in an ad tech startup. 
Uh, we view PopAd as a calling, and we're super passionate about this startup because we know that this is the future of advertising, and if we don't build it, somebody else will. And if we don't build it around the user, somebody won't. And that's not the future is about them. So we launched in September uh, our iOS app, so definitely look out for that. But really, you know, if you're interested in, in this discussion, in this conversation, please reach out to me, john at popad.co, and we would love to have some brands, uh, more brands come on board and make that number a little bit bigger than two. Thank you.